So this is the unboxing of the new 007 Globetrotter suitcase. Uh, I went for the, the carry-on version. Uh, they do have a larger larger version that's a, a check-in one, but uh, Globetrotter no longer make the, the suitcase covers. So I thought I didn't want to get something that looks like this damaged, so I went for check-in. So first off, I've got a little box here. I guess yeah, okay. <laughs> luggage tag. It's a bit of a big box for a luggage tag, but mm, leather smells great. You can put your name cards in there, uh, put this on, I suppose, a suitcase or any other bag. Nice. Then we have uh, a note. It's a nice little note from Globetrotter. All right, and now to the case. So one thing I noticed, it is pretty heavy. I think it weighs about four kilograms, uh, says on the specs. So that is gonna take quite a chunk out of your, your hand baggage allowance, depending on what airline you're flying. There we have it. Ah, that's a wood, it's like a wood handle. So I've removed all the, all the bubble wrap and here is the case. Looks a bit wonky, but... Quite a bit. It's got 007 logo Globetrotter on the wooden handle. The side, got three hinges. And of course, it's got the, uh, the four wheels. Yeah, which is unusual for the Globetrotter models because they usually just have the two. We've got an uh, inscription here. Globetrotter suitcase, production number 16. Would have been nice to get seven. <laughs>
So different to the other globe trotters is the um, the handle is kind of embedded inside, but on a lot of other models they're obviously on the outside. So it's going to be, I'm guessing, slightly less packing space. You've got the straps, it's pretty normal. Nice cloth interior. And then probably the warranty card. Information on locks, cleaning. Keys. There we are. Can't wait to try it out.